Alright guys, what is up? How are you guys doing? Silver Chaos here. It's been a month later after I came back from vacation in Los Angeles and haven't made video trip highlight. So here are my thoughts about what do I think about Los Angeles so far. Before I start for going through day 1 to 5, I don't want to make a reference for this, but I'd like to spell out. It kind of reminds me for playing Grand Theft Auto 5, or short as GTA 5. In the game, the city name is Los Santos where it's a fictional city in GTA universe that is loosely based on Los Angeles and other California coast cities. I remember back in New York City for a vacation on July 2016 before I played in GTA 4. The city name is Liberty City where it's a redesigned version consisting of four boroughs in New York City. Broker as in Brooklyn, Dukes as in Queens, Bohan as in Bronx, and Algonquin as in Manhattan. That's what I've been there. Comparing to the game and going on vacation in real life, it's almost exactly the same what it looked like. Alright, enough with the references, time to get on the day timeline. In day 1, landed at the airport around 9.30am, calling for a pickup car rental and going to hotel checkup at Monterey Park for availability that aren't ready until around 1.30pm. Now, my family and I went to Little Tokyo, located in North Los Angeles downtown area and close to Chinatown. This place is like some sort of Akihabara and grocery mall where I think they imported from Japan products. They have wish tree tags to write yourself about wish, they have watchtower as part of art culture, and no, nobody is allowed to climb up there and see high view. They have cosplay along with makeup, anime or manga stuff and old video game store. You can call me weebs, whatever you want, I don't care. After a while, we headed to Koreatown that is located in close by central Los Angeles. That place doesn't have a lot of interesting things to see, but at the very least, we get to see it. We ended up looking at Koreatown Plaza where it's three story mall with Asian fair and atrium that is part of a shopping mall than the Korean culture. Of course, those Korean restaurants were much expensive than the other kind. You could find something for K-pop and K-drama store around the area if you've been Korea booze, raffle. In day 2, we headed to Venice Beach in Santa Monica where it's far west of Los Angeles. Entering to parking lot area, I can see there is Santa Monica Pier where there is by short wooden bridge and close by playground area. Unfortunately, I didn't want to enter it because my family and I pay for parking meter and I have a feeling that entering Pier will also cost a lot of money too. So we decided to walk down to the beach path. It's such a long walk and that only took about half an hour to reach at Vendor Beach. They got rental scooter or bike to ride along the beach path for reduce of walking, but I didn't plan to use it though. In the Vendor Beach, they got some nice arts, handmade, interactives, food stops and clothing to sell, but most of vendors were not allowed to take pictures because it's stealing, it would punish me if I dare. I do see some performing dance group act in the middle of Venice Beach and would love to record it, but I couldn't because of YouTube music copyrighted. Since the parking meter is running short of time, we hurriedly walking back to reach the car rental and thank goodness we didn't get a ticket. However, we find there was a car made a bit of ran over to female cyclist and we check on her to see if she's alright. We did write out for accident note details, hand over to cyclist to go and see the insurance company. After for about 3 hours to stay in Santa Monica, we headed to Hollywood in Beverly Hills. We do get to see Hollywood Walk of Fame where there are a lot of classic movies, TV shows, artists, broadcast radios and actors and actresses as part of being stars. I can't even list up much details what I find from my favorite celebrity people so you can find one of my highlighted video to look at. We're not really interested to enter Paramount Pictures or Universal Studios tour for behind the scenes because I know what it looked like when they produced a movie or TV show and stuff. Of course, a lot of money to enter it as well. And then we sort of drove up to the hill to Hollywood sign to get a close up of the picture then all the way down to Hollywood Walk of Fame and I'd like to point out for a funny thought that there could be Franklin living around in Hollywood Hill in GTA 5. LOL. Anyway, in day 3, we were dropping off with my brother to the airport because he's going to Hawaii to visit his girlfriend's friend wedding for 5 days. After that, we head down to Anaheim that I remember a long time ago when me and my brother were little to head to Disneyland and Legoland. This time, we are not going there because I'm too old for this. <laughs> XD. 
We were just looking around in Anaheim area, doing shopping outlets and taking a quick look at Mexican shopping mall. Mexican shopping is not what we expected to see because they aren't shown a part of culture and stuff. It's mostly be Mexican foods and other kinds like in Koreatown. During the late afternoon, we head down to Westfield Santa Anita, where it's based of shopping mall, what we want to look at, such as Uniqlo, Miniso, and other stores we find. However, their products were not that good because I think that the quality design looked terrible and we don't expect to see something nice or cool casual looking. At the very least, we get there to get some vacation. In day 4, we head down to West Los Angeles downtown area to see, such as Staples Center, Microsoft Square, and Convention Center. In Microsoft Square or outside of Microsoft Theater, there is like some sort of room outdoor for concert or playoff to watch at the huge screen. I do find there was Miku Expo based on Vocaloid for Hatsune Miku, Kagami Ren and Len, and Megarin Luka for performing live concert at Microsoft Theater. However, I couldn't even attend it because I did not realize that it came by on June 29 and I wish that Miku Expo would come to Vancouver in Canada for one day because I live there. In Staples Center, this is where it's part of sport team for home games such as LA Kings in NHL, LA Lakers and LA Clippers in NBA, and of course, other events like wrestling. Outside of Staples Center, they have sports statues who are retired or passed away as part of commemorative. I don't know any about NBA players and announcers, but I know a lot for NHL players. Of course, I love watching Ike's hockey. In Convention Center, this is where it's one of the most biggest building convention and events so far, such as Anime Expo that was upcoming week but I don't have much time to stay for vacation, Electronic Entertainment Expo or short as E3 for upcoming video games, and Auto Show which I'm not interested very much for car models. What's really cool is that there was a huge screen slope to slope across the other building between Staples Center and Convention Center, showing for advertising and I could even imagine if that was some sort of curved screen televised. Few moments later, we drove up to Grand Central Market where we find interesting for Emporium hosting food vendors and florists, plus game nights, movies and other events. What I'm interested is how the signs show neon lights as a decoration. After heading out of Grand Central Market, there was some sort of machine riding up or down the escalator that can be used for, for elder, disabled or tourist people who have hard time to use it without help. As for that, we don't have time to take a look at. For a short while, we were hoping to enter at Los Angeles Dodgers Stadium as part of baseball home team in MLB, but it's kind of blocked out and we have to pay to enter it, so we refused and take a quick picture outside of stadium, and of course, Hello Kitty Dodgers uniform from Painted Traffic Light Power Box. We were expecting to look around in Chinatown, but nothing interesting as my dad and brother would been there before a long time ago. In late afternoon, we head down to Santa Anita again, but not shopping mall though. Instead, stand alone for REI to buy some pair of hiking or runner shoes, looking around at H Mart to kill some time, and then drove all the way down to Citadel outlets in between East Los Angeles or Bandini and South Montebello. We were just looking around to store outlets and didn't quite spend a lot of money there. In day 5, the last day, packing up some stuff and kill some time in the afternoon to catch up at the airport for nighttime, we head down to Daiso, which is Japanese dollar store in Arcadia, and then Walmart in Duarte to look around, then dinner time to eat Monterey Park before we ended up stuck in traffic jam on Interstate Highway due to rush hour or car accidents. We thought that we aren't going to make to the airport, but we managed to take alternate route to reduce traffic jam and barely made it in time to reach car rental shop. The young valet drove us to the airport and we gave him a tip for appreciation to drop us off. Overall, it was pretty good and enjoyable vacation so far, but really hot weather down there. It's about over 30 degrees Celsius with full sunny throughout the week. They were most cloudy in the morning, but it get disappeared in the midday. So I advise that you should bring your hat and sunglasses to go there because it will always be sunny and no rainy weather at all. Things to see is what I wanted. Don't ever try to take a public transit or tourist bus group because it's a lot of money and gets you nowhere you want to see from places to places. 
Be sure you have a good outstanding for driver license and a lot of changes for parking meter that you want to park and take a look at. Eating breakfast at the hotel is somewhat good and bad, but it'll help to save the money if you're sleeping there over the next few days. The seats are being limited, depend what time they get up and be there short before seats are full and hotel restaurant is closed. Don't forget to take an afternoon nap in hotel like I do because it gets tiring for staying out within 4 hours from morning to afternoon from places to places to see. Anyway guys, that's all I want to share with you for my Los Angeles a Lock podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to it and planning that you are going there for sometime next season or the after season. If you like what you enjoy from our podcast and video, be sure to check out my other playlist trip highlight and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next part of the video. Peace out.